Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel. And in front of me, I have the game Lies of P up on my Steam Deck. Lies of P is a game that centers around the story of Pinocchio in a dystopian world. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on settings you can tune to extend battery life in playing this game. There are going to be three areas that I look at in these videos. The first is going to be the performance settings in the Steam Deck OS overlay. The second is settings in the Decky plugin area suite for the Power Tools plugin. And the third area is going to be the in-game settings. So we're going to look at all three of those. Let's begin with the performance settings. I'm just going to hit the ellipsis button here on the right hand side. And here we are with performance. So let's start with the frame rate limit. As is usual with my videos, I like to target the 40 frame rate limit and a refresh rate of 40 to get in that range of 30 to 40 frames, which we are going to be able to do with the settings that I share with you. We are going to enable half rate shading as I do not see any blurred text in playing this game, but this is going to be preferential. If you do see blurred text and it is against your preference, of course, do turn it off, but this is a measure to extend battery life. And for the TDP limit or thermal power limit, I was surprised at how low I could get this game. I have gotten it down to seven watts and have been playing this at seven watts and it does very well. There are some slight drops that do happen, but they still are drops that stay within the range of 30 and do not go below that. So I am happy to say that this game can be played at seven watts. Going next to our scaling filter here, I have this set all the way to the left at linear and not at FSR as the FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution, that is going to be set in game and we will take a look at that in the in game settings. So let's now transition to power tools and that's going to be in our Decky plugin suite. Let me start with SMT, simultaneous multi-threading. Simultaneous multi-threading allows for drawing instructions from multiple threads at the same time. Disabling SMT can allow for extending battery life. In this case with the game, I found that it performs best with SMT enabled as there was too much degradation and performance drops with SMT disabled. I did try disabling SMT and increasing the TDP to up to 15 watts and I still found that the game does perform poorly with SMT disabled. So I've chosen to keep this enabled in the game and by default we are going to use eight threads for this. Let me next transition to the frequency limits. So this is going to be our clock speed for the CPU component of the APU. By default, 400 megahertz is set as the minimum However, with the maximum megahertz, I found that the game can run with a limit of 1600 megahertz. Now, with the CPU component of the APU, the base clocks that we are working with, or rather the base clock of this component is 2.4 gigahertz with turbo speed up to 3.5 gigahertz. So limiting the clock speed to 1600 megahertz is significant as we are underclocking the CPU component and the game does run smoothly in doing so. Now with our governor setting, we're going to change that to power save. That is a general measure to extend battery life and that's going to be changed from the default schedule till. Next, we're going to look at the frequency limits for the GPU component of the APU. And I have found that the maximum megahertz can be limited to 1000 megahertz, which is actually the base clock at one gigahertz. So we are limiting the clock to perform at the most at its base clock. So for this game, it does not need to go into the 1.6 gigahertz range, which is what is supported for the turbo clock on the GPU component of the APU. That is not necessary for this game to run smoothly. Next, transitioning to down clock memory, I found that the game performs too poorly for this to be enabled. And so I recommend to not have this setting enabled and to instead 
have the settings set that I have gone through thus far in the video. And that's going to be it for our power tool settings. So now let's transition to the in-game settings. Let me start with the screen mode. I left this at default for borderless and have found that this is an optimal picture to use for this game on the Steam Deck. Our max frame rate limit, I have set this at 40 as this is not necessary to do since we are using the performance setting to limit the frame rate at 40, but I have just set it here in going through these settings. I have VSync enabled to further lock that 40 frame rate. Next is AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2. I have this set at quality as this is a preference. I would rather the frames be upscaled from a resolution that is closer to 1280 by 800, which is what we have set in game, than a resolution that is significantly lower of that. The AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 sharpness, I just left this at the default, but this can be adjusted based on preference. Next is AMD Fidelity FX CACAO. This allows for the AMD RDNA architecture optimized for ambient occlusion, which is the CACAO, and this dynamically helps improve the appearance of objects based on ambient lighting. By default, this is on, and I have decided to leave it on for the game. Next, for graphic quality presets, by default, this was set at low, and I did keep it at low here and this is going to help with allowing us to decrease the TDP limit so that we can have a game experience targeting that 30 to 40 frames and there are additional graphic details here where you can see further settings for low and I did not adjust these as I just kept them all at low. If we do increase this, it's going to be more difficult for us to target that 30 to 40 frames as we would need to adjust the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 to try and compensate for the difficulty or the challenge to meet those higher frames. All right, and that is going to be our video of Lies of P on the Steam Deck and settings you can tune to extend battery life while playing the game. So let me know in the comments, have you picked up this game? Are you playing it during the early release time? What settings are you using to play the game on the Steam Deck? All of this, let me know in the comments. I'm excited to read what you have to write. So with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.